Now we're going to take a look at something called Q Object Cast. And Q Object Cast is a little bit different. It's specific to Q. It's not built into C itself. And it does not use the C RTTI, our runtime type information. It only uses Q objects, meaning it backbones on Q objects and the Q meta object system. All right, so let's go ahead and add existing files. And we're going to just repurpose the same classes that we've been working with. And we're going to make another class here. We're going to add new, and we're going to add a C class. We're going to call it dog. We are not going to make a base class here. We're just going to simply click next. So when we look at dog, as soon as it pops up in here, you can see this is not a cute object. So if we look at car, it's got the cute object, it's inheriting cute object. Dog does not have any of that. Dog's just a plain old C++ class here. No cute goodness baked in. How sad. All right, so let's flip over to our main. I'm going to include our headers here. There we go. And let's just do a derive to base. We're going to say race car, pointer, player one, equal new race car. And then we're going to just say car pointer my car equals and we're going to do the Q object cast and we want a pointer to a car and you guessed it we're going to convert player one so drive to base let's test this out So we're currently driving. So it has successfully converted that from a race car to a car. You think about that. What, it, what it's actually done is quite complex under the hood. It's stripped out and ignored all the C++ runtime type information, and it's using just the Q object information to determine whether or not that's a valid cast. That's pretty cool. But we can also do the base to derived. And let's test that out. So we'll say race car. Pointer to fast car equals Q object cast. And this time we want to get a race car. And we're going to convert my car because my car is just a normal car, not a race car as much as I'd like it to be sometimes. So now we've got this pointer to a fast car. So fast car, and we can actually go fast. Think about what we just did here. We basically just ignored the four previous tutorials and we just said use Q object cast, but I wanted to demonstrate all that so you really understood Q object cast and what it's doing. Let's make sure we can actually use this as a race car and sure enough, zoom just works. If you're an old school C++ programmer, you are gonna absolutely fall in love with Q object cast because of just how powerful it is. However, there is one drawback will not use non-cute objects. And that's why we made the dog class. So we're going to say, whoops, dog pointer two. We'll call this Fido equal Q object cast. And we want a dog out of this thing. Whoops. And let's try just converting our fast car here and see what happens. Notice how it doesn't actually give us any sort of indication that something's going on. It's just saying we have an unused variable. We can get rid of that by using the Q, un, Q unused macro here. And let's say Fido. So just staring at our screen here, it thinks everything's going to work. But if we go ahead and try and run this, but we have a problem. Q meta call is not member of dog, and we get this kind of nasty little size of cute meta call, size of int, blah, blah, blah. What's really going on here is that we cannot use this with non-cute objects. 
and you can see right here static assertion has failed requires type to have q object macro which of course is ta -da, this guy right here which our dog does not have so we've covered a lot of conversion which one should you actually use well when in doubt i would say without a doubt when in doubt without a doubt that made a lot of sense. Anyways, when in doubt, without a doubt, use Q object cast. Why? Because you can go from the base to the derived, you can go to the derived to the base and back and forth. And as long as you're using Q objects, everything just works. The only time you're really, really gonna get in trouble is if you try to use a non cute object. I hope you enjoyed the video you just watched. That was a preview of one of the videos out in the Cute Core for Beginners with C++ course I have out on Udemy. I am going to be making an intermediate in advance, and then we're going to start working on GUI technologies. For example, showing buttons, lists, tree views, you name it, and then moving on to things like QML. Um, the reason why I've restarted this whole thing is if you're watching these videos out on YouTube, they are a little old. Um, this one was done in 2011. And the technology's changed over time. So because the technology's changed, some of these videos, as good as they are, really don't line up with the current cute technology stack anymore. So I wanted to start from scratch. I hope to see you out on Udemy and also in the Voidrums Facebook group. See you there.